place can be easily become another man. And we don't want you. As, as I have said before in my briefing to the council, I said it in my briefing in July, I, I said it in my briefing in December last year, we need to make the CAR to create a firewall in the CAR to prevent the trends we see from the Sahel from coming through here. And in this respect, uh, Seleka has, the CAR has known a series of rebellions and the people are just tired of another set of rebellion. So many, many, a large number of the population group in, uh, members of the population in these areas just have just remained in the bushes. Uh, so the cantonment of the Seleka forces and their removal from the city center, from the center of town, of these towns, for us constitutes a, a major humanitarian issue. Just when we thought we were ready to move forward, the rebellion was launched. Uh, but I think uh, what is impressive is the impact that this event had on the countries of the region. The speed with which the regional uh, heads of state reacted. Um, soon after um, Sibut fell, uh, the, the summit was convened in Jamena. Uh, and most of the heads of state of the region attended that summit and uh, they discussed a, a plan of action to bring the country out of, of its crisis. They also called for the launch of, a, of, of, of negotiation. Now, the South African troops, the success of Sileka was actually more, like, lay more in the failure of the national security forces. In most places, Seleka did not fight any war. The national security forces just dissolved into the bushes. So the reorganization of the defense and security forces uh, is one of the major tasks. Bye-bye.